Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn IT. Today I am going to explain you about SN Utils. What is SN Utils? It is a productivity tool for ServiceNow that is used by developers for developing and testing. It is available as an extension for browsers like Chrome and Firefox. This makes life easier for developers. It is available in Chrome with the name SN Utils tools for service now. The above extension can be added to your browser and utilize feature of SN utils in different instances. This does not impact existing instances whenever we use these extensions. As we can see how it looks in our browser when it is added as an extension. So this, this is the view how it looks and I will show you how you can enable it in your browser. So this is the browser where I have already added on my browser Ascend Utils Tools for Service Now. It is a productivity tool for Service Now and version, and it is already added as an extension. So that's why the option is coming as Remove Extension. So let's check in our browser for instance how it looks. So let me click on the extension which I have already added and you can see we have multiple options to select. So this is really very interesting for any developers who is developing something on service now. So let us move forward and check what are the features for SN Utils. Here is some of the features of SN Utils. Node switching, ability to pop in pop out or copy a tab. Generate Glide record template based on list. Save record with Control S. Right click to go to script include table or search. View your last 20 updates. Browse to related record. Show technical names under the form. Search update set which is in progress. Slash command type in help to know more about this feature. But using slash command we can just a redirect to any URL without typing whole URL. We can edit scripts and widget in uh, VS Code. I will show in some time how we how this works. Search table and open list, dictionary or schema map. View the data and columns of current record in a table. Paste a clipboard image to any record with Control V. Command or control click in a form on element labels to build condition and open list. So these are the really very interesting features for the developers. Whoever is developing anything in service now. So let me show you what all features are there. So one of the best feature which I have found is like we can see update set, updates, notes, tables view data, user, fly record, slash command, settings and more. So let me just go to the incident table and show you how this really works. So stay tuned with me because this is really very interesting topic. So let me open any incident. And this is our form, how it looks. So first one of the best feature which I can tell you is like if we double click on this form we can see the backend values started displaying here. So backend value for caller is caller ID, service is business service, service offering. With this you don't want to navigate to particular field dictionary. You can just see how it is holding the database value and you can see the value selected on drop down also is displaying as one in urgency it is showing as one and in critical it is showing one so if we again double click so all those fields has vanished so this is one of the good feature and next I am going to explain you about pop in pop out feature so what what it does is like it will just remove this navigator from the form so I will show you how it happens. You can you can just right click on the form and you can see SN Utils tools for service now is displaying. 
and you can go under tools and click on pop in pop out so what it does is like i have just selected pop out so this navigator is popped out and now again i want that navigator to be displayed so i can just click on pop in pop out button again so you will uh, you will be navigated to navigate navigation list with the content frame as the form okay and after this i will show some more interesting features so i will click on update set we can find the update set which is in progress and it will be displaying here and under updates we can find our last 20 updates whatever changes i have done so it will show previous 20 updates so notes so notes what notes will display like we, uh, this instance is located on how many nodes so currently this is developer instance so this is located on a single node but in client instance we can see there could be multiple nodes for a particular instance in production and next is table so tables if, if i'll select the table we can see the whole list of tables is displayed here and as well as we can search for any table here suppose i am going to search incident so we can see related to incident we have incident table and uh, we can check incident fact table incident task and using this we can just go to the list list of particular table and here you can go to the table definition and using this you can go to the uh, schema map of this particular table so this is very, really very interesting feature so if i click on this list you can see the incident list is displayed right so i think this really sounds very interesting to everyone so let me show another feature We can display all the table definitions whatever table is selected here and we can view the data see we can check what data is displayed on the on the form so we can check all the data and on user tab we can search any user by any username here suppose i am searching adela and uh, i will click on button so it will result no exact match try clicking the list icon so we can find the exact match here by providing exact name for particular user it is asking search by username so whatever user id would be there it will be searching the user and on glide record so this glide record is really very interesting feature so our incident form is already open on backend so now as soon as we click on glide record we can see the incident uh, glide record template is already created and it is displaying as an info uh, they are printing it as an info message so this really sounds very interesting and very helpful when we are doing any development in the system okay so next comes is slash command so slash command you can see there are various uh, commands here which is displaying suppose we have to go to service portal so we will just type slash sp so you will get service portal here and you can just click you can just find like what exactly this url is containing and you can just find how it works so we can find it like uh, suppose we have to use this underscore update version list so the list is displaying here okay so we can search using slash command whatever we want to search like what is there configured in all the commands section and on settings also we can see we can enable uh, service now script sync buttons using vs code and we can enable code editor buttons so what happens is like it will display the code editor where you can edit your code so technical names on page load i have already shown uh, we can just double click on the form and we can show the technical names for particular for particular uh, forms and next is don't add ui elements to browser so it will disable the ui element so let it be it is the default uh, check which is done here 
and we can apply VS Code style editor to background script. So uh, you will find it very interesting when we when we go to background script and the control V is used to paste the image as an attachment in the service now form and this is the new feature which which is provided as part of San Diego release or next UI or UI 16 so update set picker will be available at the page load so let me click and show you so I have marked this uh, check and let me just uh, re check our form after reloading it how it looks So we can see this update set and application scope selection is available on top. So this sounds very really interesting for all the developers. So we can see we can save metadata after scope has changed and we can add the favicon badge on this uh, browser it is looking right now green we can set it as a different color suppose there is three environment dev test and prod so we have to set and identify like which which prod which prod instances or which test instances so we can define prod it as red uat as green and uh, dev as blue so it will be looking different when you open all the tabs for different instance and you can see here slash pop-up theme so here we can select dark theme light theme or a stealth theme here is the one click personalized list fields which is provided here and it is also very interesting while we use it so let me just close it and i will show like how further we can use it we can just go to the incident list first let me redirect to any record and let me right click on the form itself and you can see there are various options like so technical names cancel transactions so hidden fields and sections clear cookies clear cookies again for login.do and refresh page and from here we can go to the system properties in the system and we can check what all updates has been updated today and we can check the update versions whatever is done and stats.do will provide the status of current instance what is the status of their instance so these are very really interesting for everyone to use suppose we are clicking on this properties so it will just redirect to system properties list so this is very interesting for all of us so please use this in your instance so this is all about features of ServiceNow Utils. Thanks for hearing me out. Stay tuned for more videos. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT.